training so it's my job to get Dan warmed up so I've got some elastic resistance band here so just to get the shoulders warmed up first and foremost so Dan's just going to place his elbow in alignment with his shoulder okay and then he's going to get the rotator cuff muscles and the muscles at the back of the shoulder joint warmed up which are going to be important for when he starts handling the ball okay so we do a set of 20 on the right side okay trying to hitch the shoulder too much there Dan okay lovely some nice external rotations with the shoulder we do the same on the left side Let's go lower down with the chain now, so the band is going to go around the knees. Okay, so Nancy's going to take the tension on the band. The green one's quite an easy one to start with. Okay, so it's just going to do a forward zigzag. Okay, so he's basically going to stick the bum out, head up nice and tall. Okay, so the idea here is that he works the muscles at the side of the hip. Okay, so these are important for your pelvic stability. Again, when we start doing the lateral movements, we're really coming to play. Okay, so it's just going forwards, three, four to five meters, forwards and back. Can you just do one more, please, Dan. Okay, so there's no pivot or shift of his upper body, he stays nice and upright, all the movements going from the hips and he's getting the muscles activated here. Beautiful. Okay, that's great. So we're now going to go over to the cones. Now we're going to look at more functional movement as we get down ready for the session. So to start with, that's going to go on the cone here, facing over towards the other yellow cone. So we'll find an area of 5 to 10 meters in length. The first movement we're going to do is for the hips, Dan. So we're just going to open the gates as I call it. Okay, so just jog through, opening the hips up to the hips. 